I want to uh, introduce one of our great champions for your right to know, Representative Peter Welch. Hey, it's great to be here. It's a great day. You know, one of the things that was really puzzling to me was a lot of my colleagues uh, who were against this down in Washington were bragging about how great GMOs were. So I said, you know, I hear you. But if it's so great what they are, why don't you want to brag about it by putting it on the label? <laughs> you know what? They didn't have an answer. They didn't have an answer. So who do you know that wants to sell you something, claims it's great, doesn't want to brag about advertising what it is that's so terrific? And they said, well, there's uh, certain things you don't understand, Congressman. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I don't understand what you're afraid of. That's what I don't understand. If it's so great, let's brag. And they were unwilling to do that. Now, despite that, I gave uh, some Ben & Jerry's ice cream to uh, the sponsor of the Dark Act in the House. I was hoping that it would kind of wake them up, you know, and get them on the right page. But we didn't make it in the House. It was kind of tough there, and we passed the Dark Act against significant opposition on our side. But it went to the Senate. And you know, I'll tell you something. There was progress there, because this argument that you've been making, that you started here, with the legislation that Governor Shumlin signed, was making the basic unassailable proposition that a consumer does have a right to know what he or she is buying. It's called a label. Democracy. Democracy, that's right. Right to know. And in the Senate, they had to back down on that proposition. They had to accept the notion in their legislation that people did have a right to know. But, you know, they figured something out. They may have a right to know, but we'll figure out a way they won't be able to find out. So it's like an invisible label. You know, I was thinking about it. You go grocery shopping, a lot of times when you do, it's kind of the end of the day. You're picking up food you need for dinner that night. You're also trying to get to the soccer game for your kids. Uh, you're trying to stay a little bit late at work, so you're compressing time. So now you are in the grocery store, and you're trying to juggle all these other responsibilities you have at the end of the day. And as you're trying to race through and you've calculated the amount of time you need, you're lucky because there wasn't an awful lot of traffic. As you're going up and down the aisles, you've got to get out your iPhone, if you have one, by the way. You've got to scan the product. It takes you to a website. Then you've got to kind of go through the website as you're standing in the aisle. And this is supposed to be a way for you to find out whether the simple question, is this GMO or not, can be answered. Or the other alternative is you can do a 1-800 number. I don't know about you, but a lot of the stores I'm in, I don't get cell service. But you're going to call and talk to a call center in India, and you're going to have to do your Google simultaneous translation in order to get an answer to the question as to what's in uh, the cereal that you're about to buy. That's not called a right to know. That's like stonewalling. I mean, that's like Richard Nixon with the missing 18 minutes. I mean, we're not talking about right to know. We're talking about right to be pre pretend that you can find out how to know. So that just is not going to cut it. There's a word we have for a bill like that. It's called kind of stupid. So I thank you for hanging in there. It's a good thing for consumers to be making a decision. And by the way, when consumers make the decision, the companies are going to follow what it is that consumers want. This is not going to kill a market. It's going to help create a market. And it's going to make it better for all of us. So thank each and every one of you. Thank you, the Vermont General Assembly, a place that I served in with great pride. And here's the reason why I am so proud, because you are willing to stand up and get it right. But Governor Shumlin, thank you uh, for your leadership on this and all that you did. Good luck. Thank you.